quick perspective from Mr. Praveer Sinha because Tata Power did see its revenue rise for the first quarter, but that didn't reflect in the bottom line mainly because there was a one-time gain of 1900 crores in the same period last year. So, is fundamentally are things looking shaping up better? And how will the rest of the year shape up for the company and the industry at large? Uh, what does the company CEO and MD Praveer Sinha make of the new regulations surrounding Discom as well? To asking asking Discoms to furnish letter of credit before buying power. Let's ask the man himself who joins us right now on the phone line, Mr. Sinha. Uh, good morning. Thanks so much for taking the call here. Neera Jair, good morning. Uh, some of the quarter for us, were you, uh, were you happy looking at the quarter or would you have hoped for more? Uh, thank you, Neeraj, for having me on the call. Uh, I think uh, the quarter went very well. Uh, we had growth in our revenue. We had growth in our EBITDA. And uh, we had also growth in our profit if we look from uh, on a like-to-like -like basis because uh, two of our assets which we have held for sale if we... Uh, do not consider for the last year's same quarter, uh, we find that the growth in profit also has been something like 29%. So uh, all in all, this has been a good quarter. Uh, we have been able to consolidate and uh, do well in all our operating assets. Uh, we have been able to bring down the under-recovery in Mundra. Uh, our renewable business has uh, shown a higher EBITDA because of uh, some of the plants which became operational during the year. So I think uh, uh, going uh, uh, by the results, uh, it has been a good quarter for us. You expect this uh, buoyancy, the, the, there are pockets of buoyancy within the quarter. Do you expect those pockets of buoyancy to continue in the year ahead or is it difficult to predict that right now, Mr. Sinha? Uh, I, I think uh, now, uh, what is important is that uh, all our plants are operating at uh, good capacity. Uh, our solar plants are doing well, our uh, uh, generation plants, uh, coal-based, hydro-based, all of them have done very well this quarter. Our transmission distribution business have done very well, consistent performance. And uh, also, uh, our uh, uh, Mundra, fortunately, we have been able to do um, better sourcing of coal. We have been able to also... Uh, do better blending of coal and uh, many of the things that we have done are to that extent institu institutionalized and I do expect that uh, the improvements that we have carried out uh, will sustain in future too. Mm. Um, there are there are a couple of conflicting um, forces at play, Mr. Sinha. One that you know the operating in the free cash flows naturally because of the situation at hand have not been particularly well. I mean, the an analysis of the annual report also seems to suggest that at the same time maybe refinancing and lower interest rates would benefit companies uh, in your sector and you being amongst the largest ones would be a principal beneficiary. How do you expect the rest of the nine months to shape up on both of these counts? Yeah, the lower interest rate will help us. Sir. Uh, and uh, the, that has always been a challenge that our balance sheet is very, very uh, leveraged and we are taking steps to deleverage it. Uh, some of our assets are held for sale and we are hoping that in this financial year we'll be able to divest them and uh, get money out of them. Uh, similarly, in terms of uh, the interest rates, uh, once it gets softened, uh, it will help us uh, to bring down our interest costs. And, uh, and to that extent, the benefit will come uh, to the company. So uh, we are definitely looking at some of the positive signs which are coming. The new uh, Ministry of Power guidelines to all the states that they should open the letter of credit and the subsequent clarification that it has also to be done for renewable projects uh, uh, gives us more confidence that our, that our cash flows will be uh, much more robust uh, going forward. So, yes, uh, some good trends are there, but uh, the sector continues to have its own challenges and uh, we are taking all steps to address them. One last question, actually, on that point, Mr. Sinha. You don't reckon that this move of, you know, this comes also having to furnish letter of credit before buying power will have an impact on the demand, base demand itself? Oh, but that uh, is always the case and it is better that uh, they buy uh, the quantum that they can pay for rather than buying and not being able to pay. So I think uh, the uh, distribution reforms, which is required to a large extent and whereby they need to be commercially viable to sustain their operations, is something uh, that needs to be addressed quickly. Uh, then only the sector will go through a huge change and a transformation. And uh, this is again an opportunity for Tata Power, uh, considering our experience in distribution in Delhi and Mumbai and also in Ajmer, 
we feel we are very well equipped to participate in the distribution reforms whether it is through the ppp route or the franchisee route or even the services that we can provide in terms of uh, the billing and collection and other network related uh, i think uh, we can play a very very big role and we are looking at uh, taking a shot at it uh, as and when the sector opens up okay we leave it at that mr sena all the best for the quarter ahead thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking to us at bloomberg quint